Guess we didn't have to make the coffee this morning. We are checking out of our Airbnb this morning. This is definitely one of the nicest and biggest Airbnbs that we've ever stayed in. Love it! It's huge. We have a living room, dining room, full kitchen, a bathroom that floods occasionally, and a bedroom. Ready? Goodbye, Asbuth Suite. Time to get on this super tiny elevator with all of our bags. <laughs> We're gonna have to go one at a time. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll walk down and I'll just send my bag down with you. Bye. See you at the bottom. For a tiny elevator, that thing is really fast. I want to point out one of my favorite features of this Airbnb. There's a homeless man that likes to pee right on the front door every night. Let me help you with that. Don't step in it. Another great feature. This entire building is under construction. It had its pros and cons. Mostly pros though. It is 11.30. We just checked out of our Airbnb, but we're not leaving Budapest until 6 tonight. Seven. We're seven. We're taking an overnight bus to Munich. We are about to split up with Dylan and Kirsten for like a day. They're doing a day trip to Salzburg and then we're meeting in Munich. But before we split up, we're getting coffee together. Kirsten has brought us a new toy. Lay bag. It's not actually ours. She's just going to let us play with it. <laughs> Dylan says it's really hard to figure out how to blow it up. Just use your imagination. It took me like maybe 10 minutes. I'm sure Nate will probably get it in the first try. Maybe I'll do one compartment at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look how easy they make this look on the website. There have to be like five fans over here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, so easy. Yeah, we'll have fun at some point. See you guys. Yeah, have fun at the bath. It's gonna be nice. Adios. Still not touching. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See you in Munich. Alright, see y'all. Truth is, we've gotten these more than once. They just haven't made an appearance in the vlog yet, so it only seemed right that before we left Budapest, we should come back and get another delicious kebab. Just look at that goodness. Amazing! Thank you. Today is the first day that I'm feeling like semi-normal, which I'm really grateful for because that means I have one day to see Budapest. <laughs> We've heard there were two things that we were supposed to do while we were here. Go to a ruin bar, which we did last night, and then the second thing was go to their public baths, which are supposed to be like now. really impressive. They're like big, naturally hot swimming pools. <laughs> and this, I've like looked at some pictures on the internet and I chose the fanciest looking one. It has like pools outside, pools inside. I think there's like some cooler pools and since it's summer that will be nice. Anyway, we have five hours till we have to catch our overnight bus so we're gonna go make the most of the afternoon. Yeah! I think this might be them. Quite a fancy building for some bathtubs. I'm honestly not sure what I bought. We got two bracelets, which I think get us into a cabin, which is, I think, big enough to store our bags. It's all up in there. <laughs>
So we're inside a cabin. Karen tried to walk in on a few people on the way in. <laughs> they said they were unlocked. We still haven't exactly figured out the system, but the door was open to one and we took it. Oh, man. Make it change, go to the baths. Not sure if this is something that you can like video at, but I'll try to take the GoPro. I'm pretty sure these are all clothed baths, all uh, mixed sex, so not like the ones in Japan. God, this is so weird. <laughs> We made it! So did like a billion other people. Kind of like a giant bathtub. Kind of weird. It's so beautiful out here though. Like sharing a giant bathtub with a hundred people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a human power lazy rip. <laughs> we just finished our day at the baths. We spent most of our time in the outside pool. Well, we spent all of our time in the outside pools. The inside ones look green. I'm sure it had something to do with the mineral water, but. Outside were beautiful. I felt like I was at a king's castle and he was having a pool party <laughs> with like a thousand people. It was awesome. We even went in the sauna. I looked over at Nate and he was just going. It was like the hottest sauna. <laughs> it like hurt my ears. Now we are jumping on the metro to head to the bus station to catch our overnight bus. Hopefully there's some kind of food between here and the bus. Ran into a slight snag. We're in a little bit of a time crunch. Kara's phone has decided that it doesn't want to work anymore, which is how we were going to navigate where we were going. I don't even know the place of where we're supposed to be going because I was going to look at it on her phone. Hey, why don't you run up there? See if you see an information thing. I'll stand up with our bags. So, yeah. Run up the most of the information. Come back down. There's not less one. Less than one hour. Go! Did you get connected to Wi Fi? Free Wi Fi! Alright, I think I got it figured out. We're gonna get on the Red Line Metro, head to the Southern Train Terminal, which I assume is the same as the South Bus Station. It may be too much of an assumption, but I can't find the South Bus Station. So that's where we're going. That seems useful. Apparently you have to sign in if you have a question. some kind of number taking system. I don't know. I think we're probably best to at least look around and fire ourselves for a minute. Oh, great idea. Here, come in. It's me. Take it. That's me. Oh, sweet. Great system. Oh. I think that we confirmed that we're at the right place. It's just the train station, though. We see nowhere for buses to pick up. We have... 25 minutes till the bus leaves. So I think we're gonna get some food and hope it shows up. So I knew I was taking a little bit of a risk when I booked with this bus company because like the website looked a little unfinished and it was like they didn't they gave me very vague information. And there was no pictures of the inside of the bus, but it was by far the cheapest option. They wanted me to pay on the bus, so I wasn't getting scanned. I'm optimistic, most things work out, so I figured we'd try it. So that's kind of why we're running into these issues right now. Hopefully we make it to Munich tomorrow. I'm ready for dinner. Let's walk this way. Okay. Alright, let's just see if we can find the bus. Okay. How's the pizza? It's really good. Good. I just talked to two guys standing on the sidewalk down here near us. They say they're waiting on the same bus. They seem Hungarian maybe and pretty confident that this is where we're supposed to be. It's past 7.15, but I feel pretty good right now. As long as they let us pay in Hungarian money and not Europe. Just saw a gray bus drive by that I thought was definitely our bus. I'm getting less hopeful by the minute. We were supposed to be picked up at 715. I'm not saying we're for sure in the wrong place, but I think I see it. I think that might be it, not the van.
That bus. Yes, yes, yes. It's gray. Has this blinker on? No. That was not our bus. I can go. Heads up, car. It's 5 after 8. We're supposed to leave at 7.15. I'm just glad we're going to Munich. Bus seems pretty nice, though. Now we have 10 hours to Munich, stopping every 2 hours from Matthew Briggs. Lovely. It's going to be a long day. So there were like 3 options for getting from Budapest to Munich. <coughs> it was an overnight train, a plane, or this overnight bus. The overnight train tickets were like 158 euro. Flights were 150 dollars a piece. And this overnight bus was 52 euros for both of us. So that's why we're on this random overnight bus. And we spent way too much money last month, so we're trying to make up for it this month. It's early. <laughs> the bus dropped us off probably at 5 a.m. We are standing at the bus station trying to scrounge up a few leftover euro from our Spain days because we can't find an ATM. And then we're going to try to figure out how to take public transportation to our hotel. See it? That's we just little... gotta get over there. It's so fluffy. Oh, it's so comfy. <laughs> <laughs> More comfortable on that bus seat you just rode on? blown right now one it's before 6 a.m. and we were able to check into a room which is insane and two Nate had told me this was a new hotel and we walk in and it smells brand new so we asked and today's only the second day it's been open so first nobody people has stayed in this room ever <laughs> This is the first time that we have stayed at an actual hotel since we have been in Europe and I'm using my IHG points to pay for four nights here at the Holiday Inn Express. A really long time ago, Nate made me participate in this IHG promotion where I had to write like a hundred letters and put our address and number and I was like so annoyed. That he was making me do it and I had to play this stupid game. It was travel hacking at its <laughs> finest. But now we get four nights in this brand new hotel for free. Thanks to make me play this stupid game. Now it is 6 a.m. Breakfast ends at 10 a.m. So we're going to go sleep for a few hours and wake up to catch dinner breakfast. This is an interesting statue. Oh my gosh, the kid is I think we just picked up an old lady at a gas station. Is that what just happened? 